my mom told the story of how when my dad remained in the UK, he had to make a serious decision on whether they wanted the two sons to stay with her in Colombia or go live with their father in London. She says it was soul destroying, arguing that there's no worse pain than watching your children leave forever. But she also said it was the best thing that could have ever happened to us. We could live in a first world country, leave our geographical constraints behind us, and start a new life. The problem is that 8,485 kilometers away, 13 long years later, as we still miss her. Solidarity. No nations or borders. Para mi familia en el sur, sigo luchando por tu libertad. Para mis padres y sus en Grecia, ya me siento sin matrimonio. Fear that 
masses Trained by your belief Fog over our eyes as we see future is bleak It's a lot of further question We sit and grit our teeth Why the right is just concerned with the power of right fight Then those who speak with cause of section Cause of section Apart from hate your brains are left out Just by the color of my skin All my country in the forest But it's something to live for All we have is grey Use it to create a better world with no decay Never learn, never learn, never learn Disagree when the right pages turn A sense of endless disconnect You walk in the tight rope without an ounce of self-respect I'm a slave south of the border And not a single time will my family feel another cage wrapped around their heads Never learn, never learn, never fucking learn To agree when the right page is fucking turn A sense of endless disconnect You walk in the tight rope without an ounce of self-respect Self-respect Fucking self-respect Without an ounce of self-respect es ahí donde uno es como mensajero, ¿no? Que tiene el, el privilegio de ser ciudadano de este país, pues uno utiliza ese privilegio para, de alguna manera, ser fuente de compasión y de entendimiento y de acompañamiento para los demás. No! 
went to the palace, preserved as a museum of the ancient times of royalty. As Leia said, she loved to look at the jewelry there. Portraits of arrogant lords and princes stared at them from the brocade-covered walls and carved too many pieces. The rooms were full of silver, gold, crystal, rare woods, tapestries and jewels. Guards stood behind the velvet robes. The guards' black and scarlet uniforms consorted well with the splendors. The hangings of spun gold, the counterpanes of woven feathers. But their faces did not match. They were bored faces, tired, tired of standing all day among strangers doing a useless task. Shevik and Bea came to a glass case in which lay the cloak of Queen Taia, made of the tanned skins of Rebels flayed alive, which that terrible and defiant woman had worn when she went among her plague stricken people to pray God to end the pestilence. Fourteen hundred years ago. Are you alright? she asked. It's all just history. With Shevik replying, Why do the people cling to your shade? Nothing can stop me!